In today's video, I'm going to jump off a 216 meter bridge, all so that we can learn about energy. Energy is all around us, it's everywhere in our universe. But what exactly is it? Energy is normally defined as the ability to do work. But what exactly is work? Basically, this means if something has energy, it has the ability to move something or displace something, which is pretty much what work is. Because work of any kind normally does involve some form of movement. There are many forms of energy, such as kinetic energy or moving energy, heat energy, also known as thermal energy, sound energy, light energy, mechanical energy, electrical energy, chemical energy, gravitation energy, elastic energy, and nuclear energy. But generally, we can put them all into one of two groups. Kinetic energy, which is moving energy, or potential energy, which is stored energy. Well, that was a lot of big words. Okay, let's break that down a wee bit more. But first, a fuzzy white-haired German scientist called Albert Einstein created a law stating energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only change form. Basically, what that means is energy cannot be used up and we cannot make more energy. Energy is just, well, there. Energy is a constant in our universe. It can't be used up or destroyed like burning coal. Energy just changes from one form into another. Kinetic energy is basically moving energy. Anything that's involved in movement is kinetic energy. When anything is moving, this is kinetic energy. energy is just a fancy way of saying movement. They just say that. Why do scientists have to complicate everything? <laughs> Often when movement is involved, there's also a force called friction, which is when two surfaces rub against each other. Friction is a force that opposes movement, but also creates heat. So where there's kinetic energy, there's often heat energy as well. Heat energy, also known as thermal energy, is a form of kinetic energy. This is because heat causes the tiny particles that make something up to vibrate and move more and more which is pretty much what heat is. Sound energy is also a form of kinetic energy. This is because sound energy is caused when particles in a solid liquid or gas vibrate and move in a wave to your eardrum where it is detected as sound. Electrical energy is also a form of kinetic energy. This is because electricity is caused by the movement of charged particles, such as we electrons moving through the wires of a circuit. Because the particles are moving, it's a form of kinetic energy. Even light energy is a form of kinetic energy. Light is caused when something called a photon is radiated or given off by an object. The photon moves in a wave and so because there is movement, it has to be a form of kinetic energy. What's up, it's me Mr. Bradley and here we are at Blueprints Bridge, what used to be the highest bungee jump in the world. Now it's the fourth highest, not as impressive, doesn't have the same ring to it, but still going to be extremely scary. Here she is. This is a 216 meter bungee jump. The bridge itself is even higher. Magella is very excited. <laughs> We're here for one reason and one reason only and that's to learn about energy. Moving on to potential energy. If someone says you have a lot of potential, it's a compliment. They believe you have the ability to achieve great things in the future. Potential energy is very similar. Anything that has potential energy stored inside of it has the ability to do something too. Gravitational potential energy is the energy stored inside of something because of its position above the Earth, meaning it has the ability to fall due to gravity. Examples of this could be a skydiver jumping out of a plane, it could be a roller coaster at the very top of a dip, or it could be myself getting ready to jump off of a bridge. As if jumping off a 216 meter bridge wasn't scary enough. <laughs> Keep your helmet on. Here we are, we're looking at the bridge. Go ahead. I can't do it, I can't do it. I know, but I can hold it high.
energy. As I'm standing at the very top of the bridge, I have a high gravitational potential energy because I have the potential to jump off of the bridge and let gravity pull me all the way to the bottom. Elastic potential energy is the energy stored inside of something that is being squashed or pulled out of shape by a force until it's finally released and allowed to spring back to the way it was before. Examples of this could be somebody pulling on a slingshot, archer pulling a bow and arrow, or somebody pulling on a bungee jump where it finally springs back and stops them from falling to their death. But hang on a minute. Earlier I said energy cannot be used up. It just changes from one form to another. But if that's true, then why do I stop moving? Shouldn't I be doomed to spring up and down forever on a bungee jump? Energy can't be used up. Where has it gone? Well, thankfully, not all of the elastic energy changes back to kinetic energy. Some of it actually turns into heat, and some of it also turns into sound. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Chemical energy is the energy stored inside of something that can only be released by a chemical reaction. An example of something of chemical energy is a simple block of wood. The energy inside the wood can only be released by an oxidation reaction, or in other words, burning it. As this happens, the chemical energy inside of the wood is changed into heat energy, light energy, and even sound energy. Food also has chemical energy inside of it, which is released through the process of digestion. Mechanical energy is energy that involves both potential energy and kinetic energy to perform a certain task in our everyday life. Examples could include hammering a nail, a windmill rotating round and round, or a demolition ball knocking down a building. And so we've come to the end of our video about energy. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.